Hi, we're just talking about the laws of indices, the fifth, the sixth, and the seventh law. AM times A, AM times BM. We get AB to the power of M. How does that come about? Let's do a little bit of exploration. For example, 2 squared times 3 squared. This is your A and that's your M. And this is your B and this is your M. They share the same powers, do they? So what we got in the law, they say it's AB to the power of M. If we were to write it, we get 2 times 3 and the common power is 2. That means 6 squared. And 6 squared is 36. Is it true? What is 2 squared? 2 squared is 4. Great. What is 3 squared? 3 squared is 9. Isn't 4 times 9? 36. That's how you get convinced by the laws. Ask yourself a little more than that. For example, if I have 5 to the power of 2 times 2 to the power of 2, what do you get applying the laws of indices? Look at the powers, they are the same. So you can write it as 5 times 2 over 2. And 5 times 2 is 10. And 10 squared will be a hundred. Is that true? You want to explore a little further. 5 squared, 5 times 5 is 25. And 2 times 2 is 4. And 25 times 4 is 100. You see that your left hand side and your right hand side balances. It's convincing, isn't it? Now, so this is the law where AM times BM equal to AB to the power of M. How about the division? If I have AM over BM and we say taking out the power, the common power, we put it this way. Is it true? Let's look at 2 to the power of 2, 3 to the power of 2. Writing it, they have the same power and you write it as 2 thirds to the power of 2. It means 2 thirds times 2 thirds. What do you get? 4 over 9. Excellent. So you get 4 over 9. But doesn't this work to that? 2 squared is a 4. 3 squared is a 9. And you can see that your left hand is equivalent to your right hand. They both match the balance. Now, to make learning easy, convincing, you've got to do your own exploration. You've got to test the formula. Do not take things for granted. When someone tells you a formula, you want to know, is it really working? So, the power of testing is within you and you substitute in the numbers and once you see it, you're convinced it gets to you easily, the laws. I'm now going to move on to more laws. Let's look at it. The next law is that if I have a number, the power of m over n. Oops, you may say it's a fraction. How do you do it? It's not at all a problem. The up number, the numerator, is the power. The down number is the root. You write it that way. A to the power of n and the root is n. Let's give you more examples. If I have 32 to the power of 2 and then to the power of 5. What does that mean? 32 is 2 is the power and 5 is the root. We'll find out more about the answer for this. If I were to give you like 64, the power of 2 third, what does that mean? It means 64, the power of 2, and 3 is the root, right? And you may be wondering how to go about this. We'll get to that shortly. Now, 
A very important trick is that you need to see a relationship of numbers. If you look at what I gave you earlier on, 32 to the power of 2 over 5. If you were to follow the rules, yes, fine. But isn't it not very easy finding the square of 32? And then to find the fifth root? Ooh, not easy. And I'm going to teach you a trick now. We go back to the simple law that I told you, power, power. What is 32? Do you remember? 2, 4, 8, 16, 32. Yeah, 32 is 2 to the power of 5. So you look at 32 and write it down as 2 to the power of 5. And then this power, it's outside. Power, power. You multiply them up. And ooh la la, you got it. And what do you get? 2 squared. Isn't it so much easier? 2 squared, I'm sorry. 2 squared is 4. And that's your answer for this complex number. If I were to do, going back to the sum 32, if I were to find, if I were to do the square and then the root, whew, it's not easy, believe me. 32 squared, 1, 0, 2, 4. And then the fifth root of 31, 0, 2, 4. What number multiplied five times gives you 1024? It is 4. But it's sure not easy, right? Right? But I can also do it in another way. What is the next way of doing? I would consider this as method 1. Method 2, doing the power. Method 3, let me do the root first. All right, 32 to the power of 2 fifth. I find the fifth root of 32 and then square it. What number multiplied five times the same number gives you 32? Yes, 2. 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. So the fifth root of 32 is 2 and 2 squared will be 4. Now there are three methods that we have done in solving this sum. All three methods have used the laws of indices. It's now left to you to decide which method suits you best. Do you like method 1? Or do you like method 2 where you find the power and then you find the root? Or method 3 where you find the root first and then the power? The choice is yours. To me, I like method 1. Alright, let's get back to this sum. I was asking you about 64 to the power of 2 thirds. 64 to the power of 2 thirds. If we look at it, we can do 64 squared. Oh, I can't do that. Can you do that? It's not going to be easy. 64 times 64. It's actually 64 is 2 to the power of 6. Yes. And you've got to multiply it's 4096. And you've got to find that. Oh no. 4096. And then you've got to find the cube root of 4096. Well, you've got to give further thought to that. And you would get 16. 16 times 16 times 16. But that calls for lots of energy and I wouldn't want you to do this method. Alright? But as we go along, you will find easier ways. You will notice that 64 is 2 to the power of 6. 64 to the power of 2 thirds. 64 is 2 to the power of 6. The outside power is 2 thirds. Right? 64, 2 to the power of 6 and 2 thirds. Let me say why 64 is 2 to the power of 6. 2, 4, 8, 16, 32. 32 times 2, 64. 2 to the power of 6, 64. 
So you write this number in the simplest way that you can find. And then you multiply the two powers, power, power. And you could cancel that, you get two squared. Two times two is four. And two to the power of four, what do you get? Two, four, eight, sixteen. Ooh la la, you got it. All right, isn't that easy? Right, so it is good to know your tables and good to apply the laws in the easiest way. And what indices does, the eight laws makes it a lot more easier in working out your numbers.